I hate veterinarians. I really do. And don't get me wrong, some of my best friends are veterinarians. Heck, I'm a veterinarian. Now, yes, full disclaimer, I don't hate all of the veterinarians, but I hate a lot of them. As far as it comes to how to deal with their patients behavior-wise. The thing is that in vet school, we learn about physiology and biology and medications and diseases, but we don't learn that much about behavior. It is changing and today there are much more universities that make their students take courses, at least one course about animal behavior, but still most of them don't. And also when veterinarians have the option to either take a continuous education course about some new medication or about behavior, sadly usually they will pick the diseases that are kind of easier to solve with new medications than about behavior. The thing is that veterinarians are many times exactly like anybody else. They might also have these notions that training the dog with aversive ways or holding the dog down or the cat down, holding them down long enough to just finish with the treatment and send them home is the best thing to do, while in fact, it's just the other way. Behavior is an important part of everything, but let's say that we're just talking about the pet's behavior coming to the vet's office. Even about that, we already have a lot of papers on how to treat dogs and cats and what medications should be used to kind of make the appointment easier and less stressful in case the animal is stressed. Also, there are plenty of other resources like fear-free pets that educate veterinarians and staff about how to get better in treating your pets when they come to the vet clinic. But sadly, most veterinarians don't choose to use those resources. Sadly, many veterinarians even ignore the scientific papers because they continue to do what they always did and they're not so open to learning new stuff. Animal behavior in the clinic is actually a pretty hot topic because we know that if an animal is stressed when coming to the veterinarian, it actually affects so many things. It affects the willingness of the owners to keep coming back in order to do things that are needed for the pet's health. It affects the different variables that we measure when we try to actually examine the pet. And of course, it can make the pet aggressive to either us, the rest of the staff, the owners, and to itself. So the bottom line is that if you feel like your veterinarian is mistreating your pet, if you feel that your pet is so anxious that you're even afraid to come there, tell your veterinarian, tell them exactly how you feel. Now, in case you didn't know, I also hate dog trainers, and this is why. 